Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we're going to be recapping Taylor Swift's show in Wales this during this past week, her upcoming shows in London, who may or may not be there. And we're also going to discuss Sabrina Carpenter and her decision to do a Skims campaign and whether or not Taylor had a problem with that. So kind of a lot to get into. Let's start out with Taylor Swift's show in Wales, which she did, I believe on Wednesday or Tuesday. I honestly can't even remember what day it was <laughs> when she performed. It's funny because like I said before, Taylor was like on such a roll of performing shows like only Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then taking off like the work week essentially to rest and then performing on the weekends. But while she's been in Europe, she's kind of changed everything. And now she's performing like in the middle of the week. She's taken some like Friday, Saturdays off. Like the whole schedule is kind of changed up a bit, which is, which is great. Um, and so she played this random show, not obviously random, but one, one show in Wales during the middle of the week. And as always, we have to break down the surprise songs. So. The first surprise song that she did was a mashup of I Forgot That You Existed and This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things. Excellent. Excellent mashup choice. Excellent songs. I'm a big, big fan of I Forgot That You Existed. I feel like that song is very underrated off of Lover. People don't really give it the respect it deserves. And I think it's a really fun song. I really enjoy it. And I also really like that This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things. And the combination of the of the two, Chef's Kiss, love it. She then did on the piano a mashup of I Hate It Here from TTPD. It's her first time playing that song live. And The Lake, which is a bonus track off of Folklore. Um, and it's funny because I think in I Hate It Here, she says there's a line about her like, um, I hate it here, so I will go to Secret Gardens in my mind. And then like kind of mashing that part up with The Lakes. It kind of makes it seem like, she hates it here, so she's going to go to the lake, which I thought was like a nice, fun um, combination. I don't know. They just like worked very well together. So I thought if you went to the Whales show, you got two pretty good surprise song mashup situations. Uh, I would have been happy with those songs. Also a little fun um, surprise, I guess. I don't know if it was a surprise, but one of the Chiefs players happened to be at this show. So I don't know if we talked about it on this show, but the Chiefs um, during the off season got a Welsh rugby player by the name of Lewis Rees Zamet, um, who signed with the Chiefs. And he, um, he's been with the Chiefs a bit like for training camp and all that stuff, but he happened to be at the show in Wales, which makes sense because he is Welsh. Um, and he was there. And I think this is maybe the first Chiefs player, uh, obviously besides Travis Kelsey that has been to a concert. I mean, we, we know Patrick Mahomes went to the infamous, well, I don't know if it's infamous, but the famous concert where Travis finally saw Taylor for the first time and wanted to give her the friendship bracelet. But since since that concert, I don't know that there's been a Chiefs player that's gone to a Taylor Swift concert besides Travis. So he might be the first one. Um, and I thought and I, I saw some pictures of him like decked out in Taylor Swift gear. So love it. And I don't think he will be the last Chiefs player to go to a Taylor Swift concert this summer. Um, because as we all know, this weekend, Taylor Swift is doing her first chunk of shows at Wembley. She's performing at Wembley Stadium in London this weekend. Then she's doing another chunk of Wembley shows in August, I believe, but she's in London. Now this is going to be a big deal. I really feel like this is going to be, there's going to be a lot to discuss next week regarding these London shows. Um, because there's been some Instagram activity of Brittany Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes getting on a flight. We don't know where they're going to, but Brittany did post a photo of her kids and Patrick on a plane. And she said like, goodbye, America. She also said like once they landed like six and a half hours later, which if you do the math and you think of like East Coast to Europe, that's about six and a half hours. Um, so there's a good chance that Patrick and Brittany are in Europe right now. Again, nothing has been confirmed, um, but I would not be surprised if we see them at the concert this weekend. We also know Travis. I mean, Travis is a busy man. He was at tight end, tight end 
university this past week, which is like a clinic basically that he hosts with some other tight ends in the NFL for other tight ends. It's just basically like a tight, tight end camp. Um, so he was doing that. We also know he's supposed to be going to the can, some, some sort of festival in can this weekend or like later this week, um, with his brother, which I think he's still doing. And then I have to assume that he's also then going to be going to London. So my prediction is that we won't see Patrick and Brittany and Travis at the London show until maybe like Saturday or Sunday, like the last night in London. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm very, very excited for that. I also feel like there's going to be a lot of other celebrities that go to this show. Um, just because again, London, there's already a lot of famous people that live in London, but then it's also just like a popular desti- destination for tourists and stuff. So we'll have so much to get into next week regarding this concert and this um, run of shows and also what surprise songs she's going to sing. Will she do? I have to imagine she'll do So Long London one of the nights. I just, I just have to imagine that. The real question is, will she sing London Boy? Will she sing London Boy? I kind of think she will. I kind of think she will. But let me know in the comments if you think she's going to sing that song as one of the surprises. Or maybe she'll do a mashup of London Boy and So Long London. That would be kind of funny. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm excited to see how that all unfolds this weekend. Okay, the last piece of news I wanted to touch on was Sabrina Carpenter, who we know open for Taylor Swift on a chunk of her shows um, this past tour in, I think, South America, in Asia, Australia. She's very close to Taylor Swift. And she was asked in a recent Rolling Stone article about her partnership with Skims that she did pretty recently. Now, Skims is obviously the company owned by Kim Kardashian. And we know that Taylor and Kim Kardashian have a um, difficult relationship to say the least. They do not get along. Um, And a lot of people, when this campaign came out of Sabrina in Skims, people were like, oh my gosh, how could she do this to Taylor? How could she betray her? And we've, we've seen this a lot because there's actually been quite a number of Taylor Swift's friends who have done Skims campaigns. Brittany Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes did a Skims campaign um, last Christmas, I believe, like during the holiday season. Lana Del Rey did a Skims campaign. Like good friends of Taylor have done this partnership with Kim Kardashian company. And people, whenever these things happen, everyone feels like it's a betrayal on Taylor. Well, this is what Sabrina had to say about the campaign and then like kind of how she told Taylor. So She said, I've been very, very communicative with her about the situation and I just love her so much and support her till the end. So this makes me think like Taylor doesn't care. Taylor doesn't care about, and I think everyone can just like take a breath and relax. And anytime, if if another Taylor Swift friend does a partnership with Skims, I don't think we need to worry about it. Like, I don't think, I don't think Taylor, I mean, I'm obviously just reading into the situation. I don't know personally, but I sort of feel like she doesn't, she's not making her friends like pick sides or like, I don't feel, I feel like it's a very middle, middle school thing to be like, you're either on my team or you're against me. And if you do anything with that person, like you're done. I don't feel like Taylor cares. I feel like Taylor, obviously, like she wants her friends to be loyal to her, but I also don't think she really cares if her friends like are doing things with people that she doesn't get along with. I don't know. I just don't think that it bothers her. Well, obviously it doesn't bother her because Sabrina said it didn't. So anyway, I think it's all good. I don't think we have to worry about Taylor Swift and her friends doing skims campaigns any longer. Um, So that is that for today's show. I would love to know your guys' guesses of surprise songs for the London shows, um, what else you think she might perform, um, and just kind of how those shows will shake out. Um, I will not be here on Monday. We will not have a show Monday, but I will be back Tuesday with a full-on London show recap. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, Make sure to subscribe so you do not miss that video. But have a good feeling there's going to be a lot to discuss. As always, follow us on social media as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.